a tutorial today because I had a really good idea for um, like an old shirt my husband threw out, an old thermal, so I thought oh, I could decorate it and make a little tutorial since it's been a while since I made one. Uh, we're going to kind of experiment today because usually I like to use proper paints and fabrics for fabrics, but we're going to experiment a little bit. I have, I do have a gold, I'm going to use gold, of course you could use whatever you want. I have gold glitter paint, uh, the tulip kind. This is going to be like the over, the, the last coat or whatever, um, a paintbrush. I have a metallic marker in gold, like the Sharpie kind. I don't know how it's going to work on fabric, but we're going to experiment. I will wash it, dry it and then show you guys what it looks like afterwards just so you know that this isn't a complete waste of time because I see some tutorials where they use spray paint and stuff and who knows is by, by the time you wash it all that hard work got washed away or something I have no idea so I'm going to experiment with this also optional uh, fabric markers which I do have it's just something I wanted to do so I'm just working with what I got um, so yeah let's go ahead and, and get started okay as you can see here, I have my shirt. I'm gonna do this on the back because the design I chose to do is like angel wings. So of course those have gotta go on the back. How I did, I, this is a homemade stencil. Um, I've used it before, but I really liked the whole angel wing thing. So I, I kept this stencil. Uh, you can make it out of, I chose to use a vinyl fabric just because when I was making it, I had to kind of bend it around the garment I was using which I which I do like it's not stiff and I can bend it and makes my life a little bit easier but you can use whatever like I said you want how you can make the stencils you first off you uh, print out a picture full full page print you know however in, in this case it was a full page print of whatever design you want and then you will take that and tape the, the, the paper of your printout over the the fabric or the cardboard or whatever and then go ahead and you can outline it and then cut it out how I did it here is I put it over this vinyl the the printed out paper and then I had a piece a huge piece of styrofoam I don't have it anymore I had a huge piece of styrofoam and I stuck pins in it and then with an exacto knife I went around each individual one and I think it came out pretty damn good with the exacto knife. I would recommend it that way because my stencil came out pretty freaking badass. So that's how I did this. But choose anything you want. Now, since I'm doing it on the back, you know, probably more normal people don't have this. I have a Udo screen printing machine and it has this t-shirt holder thing. So this is what I'm using. Um, just make sure when you do do this, you put a piece of cardboard or something in between so it doesn't bleed to the other side because that would really suck. So what I'm going to do here now is put my little my little stencil up here and then hold on let me just make sure it fits. Yeah, that'll fit. I uh, moved it. Hold on. God, I wish I had a tripod. I need one. Okay. Here and I'm just going to weigh it down with some with some crap kind of stretch it out a little bit okay that's good so no okay dropped it oops so I'm gonna take my sharpie or if you have a fabric marker or whatever and now I'm just going to press it down and I'm gonna paint Paint it all, every single thingy, okay? All of it. This might take a while, so I'll okay, be back. So I already finished going over the stencil, well, the first stencil with the metallic marker. Now what I'm gonna do before I remove that, so that way it stays, you know, the same level, because I don't think I can put it. I'm gonna squirt some of this gold stuff, and then with my paintbrush here, I'm gonna go over it because I want it to be sparkly and then I'm just gonna 
dab over it just to give it some glitter. Again, this is optional, but I want I want the sparklies. So I'm going to put this and I'm going to do this again on the other side. Flip it, go over with the marker, dab it with the glitter paint, and then we're going to heat set it, okay? All right, so I did both sides. Now I'm just gonna take a piece of paper and my iron and iron it really quick to set it. Okay. Do the same thing. And then I'm gonna wash it, dry it, and then we will see what happens with this Sharpie marker. That's the only thing I'm curious about. Like I said, I always see tutorials, but they never use the right crap, and I don't know what happens after you wash it. I mean, why would you wanna make something for only one time and not wanna use it more than once? I don't know if that's because I make clothing for a living and this is stuff that I actually think about, but I like my crop to last, so let's see. Sweet, so okay, I just took it out of the dryer and it seemed to have survived. Yeah. Yep, yeah. came out pretty cool. I dig it. Um. Yeah, I don't know. It would be really cool if I had the patience to maybe do a whole rib cage on the front. That would be really awesome. Or some kind of mechanical heart. This is a work in progress, but I like this. The Sharpies did work. Um, and don't forget, I did, I did go over it with that gold glitter paint. Of course, it was just more the glitter with gold. There's really no actual paint or whatever to have made it stay. So most... Most of this color here, it is the Sharpie. So yeah, I would say it works. And that was pretty cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and wear this tomorrow. Yes, very excited. Thanks for watching. Hope yours comes out cool too. Bye.